Hello, I'm Penina Ntongondu, founder and CEO of Queen's Pizza. We are located at Buruburu Shopping Center. We are mainly known for our awesome pizzas. Uh, we, we don't only do pizzas, we have pizza pies, we have fries, we have kahawa, like freshly brewed coffee. Um, we only also have three awesome offers every week for you guys to enjoy. Every Monday, you get a medium pizza and get two glasses of fresh juice for free at only $6.80. On Tuesdays, Kama Kawaida, buy one, get one. Two of the favorite pizzas, doesn't have to be the same flavor. Buy one, get one every Tuesday. On Thursdays, our biggest pizza, Jumbo, at 10.80, and you get a liter of fresh juice for free. We not only do sit-ins and takeaways, we also do our deliveries. You can uh, home deliveries at the comfort of your home, the comfort of your office. Our phone numbers are 0700-442538 or 0777-442538. Um, I would like for you to join me today to see how we make our awesome pizzas. So, karibuni! Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be preparing a uh, barbecue steak uh, supreme pizza, which is one of our most moving pizzas. So first of all, uh, you have to have your dough pre-made because it has to be put in the chiller for at least two hours before preparation. So I'll start by pressing the dough, then you lay the toppings as we go. Um, I'm pressing the dough and uh, we usually use the dough press machine, but we always have our, our handy rolling pin just in case um, of a malfunction. And I'm also used to the rolling pin because I used to make pizzas from home and I didn't have these machines. So I'm um, still get, trying to get, get, to get used to this um, like I'm supposed to, but still working through it. So um, first you make sure you flatten the dough. and then you have to dock it. This is called a docker. The reason for docking the dough is uh, to give the yeast um, space to escape so it doesn't um, um, puff up like mandazi and for it to get well cooked. So you have to dock it. Then you transfer it to a pizza screen where we're going to bake the pizza from. You ensure it fits the screen well. So this is our medium pizza. So now we go ahead to lay the toppings. We go in with our pizza sauce, which is fre freshly made every morning. Then now we go in with the barbecue steak, which is already pre-made every morning as well. So this is barbecued uh, steak, which is beef. Then from our beef, now we go in with uh, Yellow capsicum. Green capsicum. And red capsicum. And why, why we added the capsicum is um, for the meat lovers and veggie lovers to have a combination. And um, the capsicum also has its own health benefits. It boosts immunity. It has so many benefits. So from there, now we go ahead with our mozzarella cheese. You spread it nicely. I like a lot of cheese, so I'll keep adding until I'm satisfied. And then now we go in with uh, our herbs, which is um, oregano and basil. And then, inside the oven, then we'll give it about four minutes. It's going to be on the other side, uh, well cooked. We use a conveyor belt oven, so when you're very busy, it's very convenient. So you just place the order from the entrance of the oven then it, it uh, goes through as it bakes slowly because there's heat, uh, there are heat elements. By the time it uh, comes out on the other side, it's fully cooked. So this way you don't have to keep checking if the pizza is cooked or not. You can just keep placing more and more pizzas as they go. How long it takes in the oven depends on uh, your temperature because um, you have to uh, preheat the oven for some minutes before you bake. So if it's well pre-cooked, it will take about three to four minutes and it's out. 
if the oven is not pre-cooked by the time it comes out on the other side, then the pizza will not be, be will be will not be fully cooked. So you'll have to put it back again in the oven. And this time now, if you put it in the second time, you have to keep checking it so it doesn't burn. So the best way is to let it preheat. It makes your work easier. We make so many pizzas in a day, so um, I can't say I have a number because as now the first one is already in. I can have two more here, depending on the size of the pizza. And um, if we are very busy, we use both ovens, like maybe on Tuesdays or on Sundays. Those are our most busy days or when we have holidays. So uh, we'll wait for it to cook and we see how it looks on the other side. Probably even have a taste. You have to keep your surfaces clean at all times. You clean as you go to ensure your kitchen is clean and you don't cause any, as I mentioned, food contamination. Make sure your hands are clean. Once you're done with this area uh, for the pizza toppings, you cover it because it's a fridge to keep them fresh. Uh, this machine depends with which brand you're using. Uh, so also depends on how you want your pizza cooked. Some like it very cook, uh, like well done. Others like it medium. So um, we just set it depending on uh, the machine that we have, because the both machines are not from the same company. They are different brands. So it depends, because we also have different types of pizza ovens. So that totally depends with you and the brand that you're using. Um, but what I will only, on, always recommend is the conveyor belt. Doesn't matter the brand, because that makes your work easier if you're busy. But if you're getting started uh, with, with the business, you don't have to get this because it's a bit more pricey. You start with what you can. Because uh, I started from home. I was making pizzas on home, delivering on, on foot. I was making with my small oven in the house, which was about, I think, 40,000. So you start with what you have. Then eventually you upgrade. So I believe our pizza is almost out. Almost. Let's give it about a minute, a minute and a half, and it should be ready. Yeah, so our ingredients are, I invented them from home. So I've not stolen anyone's recipe. <laughs> so when you come to Queen's Pizza, you get um, a unique taste. I don't expect you to get that anywhere else. Uh, our ingredients for the specific pizza is uh, barbecued steak, which we've used our own secret recipe and then the capsicum, and the pizza sauce and the cheese. Pretty much it's very simple to make, but the taste, the taste is everything and the technique. Yeah, so you can get pizzas from different places, but I believe ours is the best because it also has that homely touch. Because as, as I've mentioned, I made everything from home uh, when I was baking from home. That's what I came to open here with. So I still carry that homely touch with me to, to our first location. And uh, the pizza is really, it's well cooked. You can see the cheese has melted. You can see how the capsicum makes the pizza look presentable. So actually presentation is everything. You can see the green, red, and yellow. You can see the brown. The brown is the steak. The orange you're seeing somehow through is pizza sauce. And you can see our dough is nicely golden brown. So our pizza is ready. So we're going to dispatch it from our oven. So it's very hot. And the pizza screen at the bottom is also very hot, so you have to be careful so not to burn. So you can see it doesn't stick because it's well done. And we use our rocker knife to cut the pizza, so we cut into eight slices. That's it, so we put it in the box. If it's for takeaway or delivery, put it in a box. That's it, your pizza is ready to go. Welcome back. 
So now we'll be preparing one of our most moving pizza pies. It's called sweet barbecue chicken. So first we'll start with pressing the dough. Uh, but our dough is always pre-made. Uh, we make it every morning. And if we run out, we have to, to make it and keep it in the fridge for at least two hours before selling it. To make sure we give you guys a good product. So uh, we start by pressing the dough using the dough press. Then I have my rolling pin, so you roll it a bit to make sure it's even and it spreads nicely. If you see it's sticking, you can apply some um, oil. This makes your work easier. And now you don't dock the whole thing, but you dock the sides. Because we are going to fold it because it's a pie. If it doesn't look uh, round, you can just use the screen to shape it. Then now we proceed to lay the toppings. So for those who don't mind eggs, we use egg wash. If you don't like egg wash, we use uh, oil instead. So this is an egg wash which has some, sp uh, some herbs and spices in it, but not, it's not chili, it's just some spice for some, for some taste. And then some pizza sauce which is freshly made from scratch every morning. Then I, we lay down our barbecue chicken. In your hands to avoid cross contamination. And then we add some barbecue sauce. and mozzarella cheese. Some oregano and basil. We seal it. If you don't use your hands, you can seal it with a fork. A normal pie, but folded into half. So for, there are those who prefer pies over pizza. Uh, I, I don't know, I guess to each their own. And this is very nice to have um, when you want something light. You don't, don't, you don't want to have a whole pizza. Or, you have a pie at just 200 bob. So we apply egg wash on top. Remember, if you don't do eggs, we can still apply um, oil. Then we garnish it a bit to give it that nice finish. Presentation is everything. Then you let it bake. Uh, same minute as pizza. So it's about three to four minutes uh, in the oven. Then when it's golden brown, it means it's ready. So with the docking, the pie is going to cook through. So we have uh, about nine, ten flavors of pizza pies. So it depends. If you, do, you don't like beef, you can have chicken. If you, don't, if you ha like chicken which does not have chili, we have available. We have, uh, uh, like, we have three options for that. If you don't take pork, we have options for that. If you're vegetarian, we still have uh, options for that. So we are here to cater to every, every taste. The measurements for the temperature is same as the one for pizza. Again, it depends with the machine that you're using. Um, you just make sure your pie is golden brown and well cooked through. Don't burn it. Don't uh, take care of the oven when it's not golden brown because that means the, pit, the pie is not ready. And we don't want to eat anything that's not well cooked. Although the meat is fully cooked, 
the chicken is cooked, the cheese is ready to eat. So the only thing that we are cooking is, is the dough. Actually baking. So we are baking the, the dough. So uh, Queen's Pizza caters to everyone. That's why we also have something for 200 bob. Uh, we make sure you, you have your lunch. You don't go hungry when you don't have enough money for the... Kama mwezi kwa kona. For the pies, we don't give offers because it's only 200 bob. Uh, but we have offers for our pizzas. So we have one offer for Tuesday, which is our buy one, get one free. And then we have a Monday offer, which is a medium pizza at 680 shillings. Then you get uh, to try our juices for free. That's two glasses of juices for free every Monday. On Thursdays, you get our biggest pizza, which is the jumbo size at 1080. You get a liter of juice for free. You choose from uh, our four flavors. But you still can uh, get a pie at 200 and a uh, small juice at 100 bob. So that's 300 bob. So we are catering to all of you. So I'm sure if you have uh, 300, you can have your lunch. If you have 1,000, you can have your lunch. So we're catering to everyone. Uh, so, yeah, so I guess uh, Queen's Pizza, we are coming to see you guys by the storm. Eh? We are working hard for that. So uh, I, let's check on our pie. So now if you turn off your oven when in the middle of your job, then that happens. It doesn't cook through. So you have to put it back again. Now our pizza pie is ready. As you can see, it's coming out nicely and golden brown. So this time we won't pack. We put it in a plate so that you can see how we plate our pie. Now we, we need to dispatch it. This is called a lifter. Then now we don't use a rocker knife. That's for the pizza. We use a pizza cutter. We just cut a bit like that so that you're able to, so you don't burn because the cheese is very hot. just plate it and your pie is ready to take your client at the, on the table. Now our pizza is ready to serve our client. I've been your chef for the day, Kenny Nantongondu um, from Queen's Pizza. You can find us at Buruburu Shopping Center. You can also order for deliveries uh, through phone numbers 0777 or 0700 Karibuni.